And now we have Doug Smith from Covenant. And Doug, you're here in Vegas, so you must be feeling lucky. And now you're on Sense Per Mile, so you're on a winning streak. I'd go hit the crap stable. It's it's definitely a winning streak, you know, it being here uh, just among our industry peers and then the invitation to, to join the two of you guys on this, it, it's it's definitely a compliment. So thank you. Oh, uh, thanks, man. Appreciate you being on. So, you know, you were at Covenant. You guys are one of the icons out there. <laughs> you know, tell us what sets Covenant aside from everyone else. What do you guys got going on? So, again, I, Co- Covenant's been uh, in business uh, just over a little bit over 37 years. And so we legacy are a, a team OTR uh, environment. Uh, but one of the things that's really started to separate us over probably the last three to five years is we've focused more away from the you call, we haul style of business, right? Like playing the bid board mm-hmm. and so on, but really moving more into a dedicated uh, focus. So nice. Nice. right around two thirds of our business now is dedicated focus. So we do still have the 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 one way traffic. Hey, can you help us get a load here? Um, a lot of that is also supported by our brokerage arm. So we've got a 3PL inside uh, the, the, the enterprise. But then we've also got a lot of regional, we've got a lot of loop uh, routes and and out and backs that really allow uh, a, a better home time option. Mm-hmm. So we've really moved from about three to three and a half weeks of out uh, being home uh, to over the last probably couple of years, we've moved from to that two and a half to three. So it doesn't sound like much, but getting home every two and a half weeks versus every three and a half weeks. It doesn't sound like much when you haven't been on the driver's side, but I remember going out as a driver and as a student, and it was a month to a month and a half commitment. Yeah. I mean, that's just what it was. And you were said, you got to pay your dues. So it seems like Covenant's working in the direction of, hey, listen, we understand you need to have balance and we want to make trucking look sexy again. And this is our way of doing it. And I mean, that's a substantial difference from what I came into. If I was a student coming out of school and I'm looking at Covenant, what should I be looking for as to make me want to make that leap and come over to Covenant? So again, we two thirds of all the drivers that we hire every year are students. And so 60, 60% of our, of our driving population is, is students at any time. So we do have drivers. Uh, we've got trainers. We've got one of the best, you know, OJT on the job training programs that are out there. So there's a couple of different things when I go out and I talk to schools and, and, and I have the opportunity to present to students, I give them, you know, a couple scenarios. One, if it's a single, you're going to come in, you have the option to go out with just you and a trainer and you can go out, you can do your 145 hours, you can learn and then move forward from there. If you are coming in with a family member, cousin, brother, dad, mother, sister, best friend, or whatever, or if they wind up meeting somebody in school and they're like, hey, you know what? We could team together. They can come in and do what we call buddy plan. And then you would have both students on one truck with a trainer. Now, our master trainers are the only ones that do this. So our highest level driver trainers are the ones that can manage this you know, this three person truck. So, all right. So now I, I got to hop in here because I, I, I've been doing driving for some time. I'm a master. So if I wanted a team with Paul, I can come to Covenant. Yeah. So that brings in something else, what we call a family plan, right? <laughs> so if, 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 if Paul, if Paul is uh, a, a new graduating student or has, does not have, you know, let's say three months experience or so, right? If he comes in, but you're an experienced driver, right? And you meet our requirements, we call that a family plan. So your application, your recruiter would work with safety, get you approved, say, hey, he's got this experience. He's got a clean MBR, clean driver record. Um, He's got a winter season under his belt. He would get approved and then you wouldn't go with a covenant trainer. You would go out with Charles. Oh, that's nice. And so then what happens is you spend your 145 hours training with Charles but now we've already got a pre-made team. Yeah, that, that that's awesome. Yeah, and since it's the family plan, do I get to put them on my tax plan as well? No, uh, that's up to you guys. We don't. Get <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll be the pet hanging in the uh, in the cab. Also, <laughs> yeah. so, do you have, do you have a pet policy? We do have a pet policy. I run. Yeah. How important and how extensive is the training at Covenant versus like, you know, just kind of out there? I mean, ABC Co. down the street, right. just doing a two-week training and turning you like, like one students of, at a yeah, time. Yeah, like one of those driver mills, basically. Yeah, no, I, and great question, and it's one that we, that that we do get is so one with our students. We primarily bring in from about you know we've got quite a few school partnerships across the country, and so we're familiar with their program. We're we're familiar with what their 
learning and teaching fundamentals. So they're learning the blocking and tackling of, of what it is to be a trucker. Uh, what we, what our role is when they come in is the 145 hours that they're going to spend with a trainer is teaching them how to be a trucker. So with that, do you have the availability of female trainers? Yes. Cause that's a, that's a super hot topic in that range too, that usually gets overlooked by the, you know, driver mills. Yeah, absolutely. So Covenant, we pride ourselves. Uh, I think the, the, the industry average is in that 10 to 12%, um, as far as a female professional drivers. Uh, the last count I saw at the end of this past quarter, we were at about 18 and a half percent. So you're above the industry. Uh, so we're above it. And we have been for a very long time. We have a specific program called women in covenant. Uh, it's got their own, I mean, they've got their own social, social media and so on. And it's a oh, network cool. where we have some of our, uh, female professional drivers can there's a, they're just pages and they can go in and ask questions and so on we've got representation we have the women in trucking so ellen voice organization you know we have uh ambassadors you know in our fleet that that represent women in trucking so it is very very uh powerful it is very very present and it is very very much an initiative and something that we're we were prideful on but at the same time um, excited to, to continue to grow that as well. So I think that's important because you've made a team inside the team, which again, points towards the theory of doing this for a retention minded long term. Mm -hmm. And as a company, that's how you're going to save money. You don't need to nickel and dime the drivers along the way. You can do it the right way. It might not be instant results, but when it's done, it looks much like this. Uh, speaking of doing things the right way with me being in Chattanooga, I got yep. to come check out some of the cool stuff you guys had going on and, uh, like Hogan Hall, that was pretty amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So Hogan Hall is the, uh, product, uh, in addition to, uh, you know, a little bit of the training center that we, we were just talking about, um, is the end of a $15 million investment in our professional drivers. Um, it is named after Joey Hogan, who yep. is, uh, recently, uh, is, is, retiring um and and has served as president of covenant for uh, a long time but he has always been driver focused and so when the opportunity came to bring our housing and our dormitory on on campus uh hogan hall was was built um we have a hundred uh double occupancy rooms uh we've got uh you know vending that's available 24 7 you've got outdoor activities you saw you saw the outdoor space that's there it's massive and three, beautiful three meals a day uh you know breakfast lunch and dinner served it uh, you know and and it's not just a grab and go it's it's actually cooked and prepared meals nice um and laundry facility um and and, and again state of the art so you've got uh in-room entertainment you know again it's not just three channels no. it's it's you can cast your device like if you're in a yeah. hotel right you can cast your device to the tv uh, Wi-Fi enabled all over the place. And then again, it's right across, literally right across the driveway from the orientation building. Orientation building has got four state-of-the-art oh, awesome. rooms. Like, so it's all right there in the feedback. It's been open for a little over a month now that, and, and just the feedback has been amazing. If I was a driver and I wanted to work for Covenant, how do I do this? You go to drive for the number four covenant.com and you just check it out. It'll have all the current information. We're going to start uploading information about Hogan Hall be on there. Uh, current pay scales are always on the website. The most current information is always there. Uh, and you can apply directly, you know, from that. And again, experienced driver, it'll, it'll preload your app through, you know, through the Intelli app and, and so on. But if you're a student driver, you're interested, we've got a student page, Operation Victory is our military program. So that's something else. Maybe we talk about another time. Yeah, so absolutely. On. But, um, it's very, very easy. Driveforcovenant.com. Click apply here or seek more information. And just cause you apply, doesn't mean you have to come work. It just allows you to talk to one of our recruiters or what I like to call our career counselors. 